Welcome back to another episode of the Canon on the Boomer Bus channel. I'm your host Terry and today doing a quick reaction to the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Um, I don't usually, now that I think about it, really talk about it. It's not a reaction, but a recap, I guess. I don't usually do these for trailers, now that I think about it. But this, obviously, one of the bigger ones coming out. A lot of hype behind it, a lot of questions, mystery behind it. I think, I wouldn't say single-handedly, but I think it had a big part to do with pushing the success of WandaVision, which was excellent in its own right, but... The uh the fact that Kevin Feige came out and said WandaVision, Doctor Strange 2, and Spider Man Far F or No Way Home are gonna be like kind of a a trilogy of a story that really pushed the intrigue. And so I would I would just say overall, this has had a lot of hype behind it. Obviously, the multiverse uh is in full effect, but before we saw Loki and all that, it was the fact that Alfred Molina was coming back as uh, Doc Ock and Jamie Foxx was coming back as Electro and uh, that led to the questions of Toby and all that. So this had a lot of hype behind it. Um, then the leak happened yesterday and then the speculation came uh, when they were going to drop the trailer, even though people been waiting for it. So it's just it's a lot of hype. At the end of the day, it's a lot of hype. Um, me personally, I've not liked the trilogy. I, I really, I don't like, I, I would say I'm okay with Homecoming. And I like Far From Home even less. And so I was, I'm not super excited about the trilogy, but this one I'm excited for because, you know, it's not just Iron Man coming in to make Spider-Man Iron Man Jr. It's Doctor Strange coming in. At least we thought because we're going to have a multiverse and a bunch of crazy stuff that's going to lead to other things and a lot of possibilities. Now, as far as how I feel after the trailer, eh, we'll get into that. But overall, I would say um, I was still having hype, even though I haven't liked the trilogy. And so I was just waiting to see what we was going to get. And mainly, I think we're all waiting to see about Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are they going to actually uh, show up? Which is hard to fight that possibility with how much smoke there is, but also because the multiverse is in full effect and we got the villains. So there's that. Okay, um, let's let's get to it. The trailer. I'm gonna be honest with you. I did not like it as much, and this wasn't like a uh, oh. Uh, I had all these high expectations of what it was going to be. And because that meme has been going around, people have been talking about that. People have been hyping up so many different possibilities that it was like you're bound to be disappointed. It's not that. I, I have realistic expectations. And overall, you know, I've just been reviewing movies for a while. So I know how to ride that objective line. The issue I have with the the trailer, not the trailer, but the movie that we seem to be getting is just the premise. It's, it's a little left field. And it's not that, okay, I didn't think of this, so that means it's going to be bad. I'm not saying that. Because I never thought that Spider-Man having his identity revealed would be the driving force. I definitely thought it was going to be a factor some people thought it'd be a non-issue. Some people thought, you know, they'd just whatever, get a scroll, all types of stuff. But I, I was like, I think personally it might be a factor that they got to deal with. But I didn't think it would be the driving force of the movie. And that in itself isn't bad. I'm like, OK, that's the driving force of the movie. How they going to play it? The part that got me was the Doctor Strange stuff. So he goes to Doctor Strange with these different things available. You're talking about S.H.I.E.L.D. and um, Nick Fury and what they can do. You talk about uh, Stark Industries technology and what they can do. And then, yes, you're talking about scrolls and their ability to shape shift and just different things you could do. You choose to go to Doctor Strange and ask, can he wipe 
the mind of everybody in the universe or the, not the, the universe, but the world. That just seems so outlandish compared to what you have at your disposal and what you could do. But on top of that, they give us this like a uh, mischievous home alone type vibe where Wong is like, don't do it, Dr. Strange. And he's like, okay, I won't. As soon as he leaves, gives a wink. Oh, let's go down to the basement and do it. It's like, this is supposed to be the Sorcerer Supreme. This is supposed to be the person who is our protector of this reality, but also went through this whole thing with Endgame and just all this different stuff. And we see in all these properties really kind of deal with the aftermath of the snapping and how all these people left and now they came back and it's serious stuff. And then you run, at least the way they played it, you run like two little kids with Peter Parker. <laughs> okay, let's go do a spell to make sure no one knows who you are. And even though you know how dangerous that is. And then Wong has to tell you how dangerous it is. And then you do it anyway. It just felt so weird. And so then we obviously don't know the, the lean up point. Uh, we don't know why he decides to do it. We don't know what makes it go wrong, but something goes wrong. And I'm not even sure what is the effect, but there's an effect that happens to the world. And then you get this voiceover about Dr. Strange basically blaming Peter. And again, it's not in, and I don't think it's sequential. So like, this might come way later in the movie, but either way, at some point he's like, Peter, you trying to live these two lives. Like it's your fault. That's the issue. And it's like, Dr. Strange, you did the spell that you weren't supposed to do for a kid. And like you ran behind Wong's back like a little 15 year old. So obviously, again, there's a lot going to happen in the movie that we fill in the context. But just again, what they gave us, it was just like, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. And so I just feel really weird. Now, seeing the Green Goblin's pumpkin blows my mind. Because it was very iffy about William Defoe coming back as the Goblin. And the laugh we heard, at least to me, sounded like an older person. And so I'm curious of what that's going to be. We see Alfred Molina's Doc Doc, which we knew. In one scene, there's a bolt of lightning. So I'm thinking Electro because it was yellow. It might be Electro. And we know this Electro is going to be different. And so... We do know the multiverse parts are coming. That's going to be cool. Um, I like Tom Holland overall, even though I haven't liked the Spider-Man movies. I like him. So I'm excited to see what happens. But just the premise they gave us is just it's a little wild because it seems set up. And again, I'm not trying to write the movie for them, but I just think there's so many ways that were already set up for you. Re whether you're talking about the Loki series setting up the multiverse and kind of what uh Kang, or well, not even Kang, but what Sylvie Numb did by killing Kang and setting up that whole thing. Or you're talking about WandaVision, her ability to bend reality and those different things and what that might have set up. Um, just a lot of different things you could have did with No Way Home. Um, and yes, you have the fallout of Peter's identity being revealed, which could have played a factor, but I just, I don't know. It just feels just out of left field. It does not feel in sync with everything else. We got Loki. Then right after that, we got what if, and, and before that we get, we had WandaVision. It all just kind of felt in sync. A lot of talking about the snapping. A lot of talking about the multiverse and this just it is multiverse like in in its nature. But the way we get there just seems really weird. And so obviously there's a lot more we don't know about and I'll wait to see. But 
I would say my reaction as far as the trailer, I just, I don't know. It, it kind of got my excitement down a little bit. So we'll see. Anyway, go to the comments. Let me know what you think. Share around. Get the conversation started. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And remember, if you heard it here, it's official canon.